This is Twit. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. Together, ACI Learning and IT Pro entertain and train your team to keep your business performing at its best. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit. Twit listeners who complete the form can receive as much as 65% off an IT Pro enterprise solution plan. You'll get the proper quote based on the size of your team. Now, just, just so everybody's on the same page, uh, let's just assume that there are some folks that haven't watched the previous show and maybe don't know <laughs> what we're talking about, what the Fediverse is, what activity pub have to do, has to do with it. And, you know, they've heard about that Mastodon thing, but they don't have an account there yet. Give us a 30,000 foot view. What, what does this set of technologies let somebody accomplish? And what's, what's so sure. cool about it? What's the, what's the juice that's worth the squeeze? Well, ooh, I like that. Um, <laughs> so got a shout a out to, Sean, my, Sean, one of our co-hosts, likes that, that particular turn of phrase. I picked it up from him. Go ahead. A lot of us have this experience from using, using commercial social networks like Twitter or Instagram or TikTok, where we'll say, say something like, Jonathan, I think you should really see this cool video on TikTok. And you say something like, oh, I'm not on TikTok yet. Or I, I decided not to keep an account there. I'm on Instagram. And it's like, well, you can't get that content on Instagram unless somebody copies it over, which actually happens quite a bit. Um, but this idea of like my grandma is on Facebook, my senator is on Twitter, all my friends are on Instagram and my kids are on uh, TikTok. And I have to maintain an account in each of those places in order to interact with the people and the content. The idea of federated social networks is to say, you should be able to kind of stake out a home in a social network and stay there and connect to people on other networks and see content from other networks. So the federated part is taking separate networks and being able to um, have content or personal relationships that cross the borders between the networks. Okay. Now I I'm, I'm kind of curious, like what's the, what's the back end? all of this runs on? Are we, are we talking about PHP code? Has everything been redone in node.js? Uh, is it, is it full <laughs> of uh, Ruby on rails developers? What, what does that ecosystem uh, look like? So um, the structure that we currently have now, so I'm talking 2023, um, there are on the order of, 20 popular Fediverse um, social networking services, right? Or servers, open source projects like PixelFed or Mastodon, um, Pleroma. There's a, a, a couple dozen of them for setting up social networks, depending on your needs for your community. Typically, people will set one up for a community that has an affinity around an interest or geographical affinity, um, a group of friends. I have one for my um, family, you know, so my kids and my wife and me. Um, and this gives us a way to kind of set up a little server that we can use for communication amongst, among ourselves, but we can also connect to other servers across the Fediverse. So Mastodon.social is a great example. It's one of the biggest networks on the Fediverse, but from my server at cosocial.ca, which is where our, uh, where where I do most of my uh, participation, I can connect to people on mastodon.social. People on mastodon.social can connect to twit.social, et cetera. So we have um, a lot of backend uh, code working there. Most of the code, so uh, Mastodon is Ruby on Rails with a little bit of Node.js thrown in, I think. Um, Pleroma is written in Elixir, which is kind of a cool, you know, functional language. Um, GNU Social, which is also on the on the Fediverse, is PHP. Um, WordPress has a plugin for connecting to the Fediverse, so you can publish blog posts and they go out into the Fediverse, and that's also PHP, like the rest of WordPress. So Activity Pub is just this kind of open standard with some things defined in it. You can bring whatever language you want to to it. I, I like that. That's that's the best. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the way to do it. Absolutely, 
That's absolutely it. So the way that Activity Pub works, it's got two main parts. The first part is that we have a standard for JSON objects that defines some of the important activities that happen in a social network. So things like creating a tweet, um, uh, liking someone's image, uh, updating your profile picture, things like things like that. We we have a standard set of activities that you can use for communicating this information. And then the second part is that we have an HTTP based protocol for transferring these activities between servers. So if I post a new note. Uh, in Twitter, you would say tweet. In Mastodon, they say toot, like a like a elephant's trunk. Um, I, I, I don't note. think that's the. Is that still a thing? Is it still toots on Mastodon? Because that was yes. kind of, that was kind of a troll thing way back in the beginning. It and I, was. I want to say one of the guys <laughs> tried to step back from that. Yeah, uh, uh, Eugen has changed it, and it's now Eugen uh, uh, Roshko, who's the uh, lead developer and CEO of of Mastodon. Um, he took it so it no longer when you had the little button doesn't say toot, it says publish, um, <laughs> but old timers still call them toots. Uh, so I still call them toots. I like Great. I like that term. Uh, but, um, you know, that information packet that says Evan posted a note gets transferred out to all the servers of people who follow me, and then it's delivered to those users through their web interface or through a mobile interface. So there's like a client to server aspect of Activity Pub and then a server to server aspect. Right. Old timers um, or old internet hands will recognize this topology as being very similar to how email works, right? So we have a protocol for interacting with your mailbox on your mail server, downloading your latest messages, uploading, sending out messages. And then there's another related, but not exactly the same protocol for sending a message from your mail server to another mail server. Okay, so I feel like you've just opened Pandora's box if it's similar <laughs> to mail, what is to stop us from seeing the same spam problem in ActivityPub <laughs> that has basically killed email today? That's that's such a good question. I think it's a really interesting uh, thing to have come up. Um, one is that we have um, way better tools today than we did in uh, say the early 2000s when spam was really like digging into email. Um, and we do have like great filters. We have spent like 20 years training spam filters on email spam. So we're doing pretty well on the, on the social web. Um, I think there's also the fact that you can do um, better uh, of filtering based on more contextual information, right? Is this a reply to something that I posted? Tell me about the image. Is it an image that I recognize? Is this someone I have a connection with, which is not something that we really have a sense of in uh, email? Um, or is this someone connecting with me who is a friend of a friend, a friend of someone I know. So we have a lot of social signals, kind of deeper information that makes social uh, contacts um, somewhat better for uh, training and rules than email is. But it's um, let me just say it is has not been a problem so far for spam as much. Where it's been a bit of a problem is, um, you know, you see those uh, situations on, say, Twitter, where someone makes a post and it gets very unpopular and there are like hundreds of thousands of, you know, attack messages, you're an idiot, I hate you, etc. Uh -huh. um, it is, you know, on Twitter, you have to kind of wait for Twitter's trust and safety team to figure out how to fix that problem and they don't always come to the rescue in time. One of the great things about the Fediverse is that that role of managing user behavior, moderation is kind of distributed among the servers. So my server, your server, 
the Twitch social server where all the admins there are kind of taking care of that uh, that work to keep the uh, uh, keep the Fediverse a little bit safer and more friendly. And and it's notably different than on uh, commercial social networks. You do see a lot better level of conversation, less of uh, less abuse, etc.